this problem uh, is uh, has three parts in fact uh, this figure is given in the question uh, at which of the seven positions indicated in figure should the supporting pivot be located to produce the following it says a no rotation part a says positive net torque b says negative net torque c says no rotation so we are going to find these points now uh, uh, by applying rotational equilibrium uh, first i'm going to answer part uh, c because without finding rot no rotation point we cannot easily predict which points produces a positive net torque or which point produce negative net torque we cannot find that for that reason i will first find no rotation point uh, at what point I can, if I fix this system, this system will stay in rotational equilibrium. No rotation point means rotational equilibrium. Uh, as you see, there are six, seven positions in here. First position is A. Second one is uh, B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And uh, just one more, uh, no rotation means, as I said, uh, rotational equilibrium. Yeah, and this system will stay in equilibrium. We are going to apply rotational equilibrium to find this no rotation point. And if I suspend this system from A or support from point B or support from point C, from which point if I support this uh, system will stay in equilibrium, I will find that. One question I will ask you, if I say that uh, in the question, uh, left side it forces 50 newton right side is 150 newton if i change this right side force to 50 newtons so you can can you easily predict which point is the no rotation point yeah from which point if i support it it stays in equilibrium it's just the middle which is the uh, geometric center also center of gravity and central mass we, let's count how many divisions are there in here one two three four five six seven and eight there are eight eight divisions so eight divisions then middle is four divisions count four division from right one two three four uh, d d is in this case is the no rotation point which is the middle of geometric uh, center of this system if 50 and 50. However, one of the forces is not 50, one of the forces is greater than 50, so which is equal to 150. So remember, if an object is irregularly shaped object, and yani one end is heavier than the other end, center of gravity or center of mass must be closer to where? Which side? Heavier side. So in this case, in this case, there are three possible answers in this question. So this point can be E or it can be F or it can be G. So, but which one exactly? Is it E, is it F or is it G? We will find it. So we will apply rotation like a to find that point, but we got it. It's absolutely E, F, G, E or F or G. So now uh, this question is very similar to the uh, CISO question. In fact, uh, in CISO also we found the uh, no rotation point uh, by uh, saying one side x to the other side uh, 2 minus x we will do the same thing i will first randomly place this point let me say it is somewhere in here this is the no rotation point uh, i don't know exact position just i will locate this point just somewhere in here i know that between these two forces total number of division is eight eight divisions And if I support this system from this point, and of course support and the, this system, uh, this beam must be interact with one another, action reaction force exists between them. That's why support must apply a normal force on the beam, Fn. Here are three forces are acting on this beam. One of the force, two forces are already given. One of them is 50 Newton. The other one is 150 Newton. These are two forces. And because we supported this system uh, from a point, Fn exists. 
uh, remember in the first uh, there are some steps solving this problem first step was the draw the forces draw forces i already did it three forces are acting second step choose axis of rotation choose axis of rotation and we are going to choose the location of the unknown force there is just one unknown force in here it is fn i am going to choose the location of fn as axis of rotation o third step determine the distances determine distances determine distances distances from each force to extra rotation let's find them so remember in CSO example we did one side is x other side is 2 minus x we will do the same thing in here we will say one side one side x yeah you know, from 52 axis of rotation i am saying that x from 152 x rotation it's going to be total length division is 8 that's why it's 8 minus x i already determined the distances so 50 newton is at the distance of x from this x rotation 150 newton is at the distance of 8 minus x from x rotation and next step calculate individual torques calculate torques so there are three forces i have to calculate three torques 50 newton if you fix your pen from extra rotation and push in the direction of 50, you will see that 50 Newton produces a counterclockwise rotation, so positive torque. But 150, if you fix your pen from extra rotation, push in the direction of the 150, you will see that 150 produces a clockwise rotation, so negative. Let's calculate them one by one. So torque one, 50 Newton positive forces 50 newton how much is distance i set that distance x from the force to extra rotation this distance i set x so a 50 multiplied by x is the torque of 50 newton but for 150 so torque 2 i will say it it's negative it's negative i will add it in here how much is the force 150 what is distance from force to axis of rotation? I said it is 8 minus x. 8 minus x. Now distribute 180, negative 150 over 8 minus x, distribute it. So torque 2 becomes negative 150 multiplied by 8 is negative 1200. Negative 150 multiplied by negative x is negative times negative positive, positive 150x. This is torque 2. What about third force, Fn? Fn is acting where? Axis of rotation. If a force acts axis of rotation, what is torque produced by this force? Zero. Torque N is zero because Fn is acting on axis of rotation and now three forces are acting on this object and we calculated three torques now we can apply translational equilibrium because we know that some of the torque acting on this system for no rotation which means no rotation means rotational equilibrium sorry rotational equilibrium so for rotational equilibrium some of the torque acting on the object must be equal to zero i will add these two these torques torque one plus torque two plus torque n is equal to zero torque one is 50x torque two is negative 1200 plus 150x torque n is zero because it's acting on axis of rotation some of them must be equal to zero let's add first x terms 50x plus 150x it becomes 200x so minus 1200 is equal to zero this negative 1200 on the right side becomes positive so 200x is equal to positive 1200 divided by 200 divided by 200 
x is equal to six divisions. Six divisions. Now, I, where I set x? I set x from 50 Newton to axis of rotation. I will count six divisions now from 50. One division I came to A. Second division I came to uh, B. S third division C. Fourth division, fifth division, and sixth division. We are at F. F is no rotation point. No rotation point. You can count from right or left. From left, it is six division. So from right, it is eight minus six, that distance. Eight minus six is how much? Eight minus six, which is two. two. You can also count from 150 Newton, but two divisions. One division, you are at G, second division, you are at F. So you will get again the same point, F. If you suspend or pivot or fix this system from point F, so this object, this system will stay in equilibrium and object will not, this system will not rotate, no rotation point. Okay, so this is no rotation. Uh, if 50 Newton forces at a distance of, at a division of six division from axis of rotation, if 150 Newton is two division from axis of uh, rotation, which is the point F, yani no rotation point, no rotation point. So in this case, this system will stay in equilibrium. Even you can test it if you did correct or not. Because 15 Newton produces a positive torque. How much torque is produced? Let's count this. 50 multiplied by six distance is six. 50 multiplied by six is 300 positive. How much torque is produced by 15, 150, which is negative? Negative. So 150 multiplied by two, which is one, negative 150 multiplied by two, negative 300. Add them. Is the result zero? Yes. So net torque zero, which means no rotation point because uh, system is not rotating. So this is how we tested that. Yes, point F is the no rotation point. Now, but this question has a A part and B part. This A and B part is asking in this exam, not C part, no rotation point is not asked, but without knowing no rotation point, it's not easy to get uh, points for positive torque and negative torque. So now let's get which point produces a net positive torque. So in this case, there is no equilibrium, no equilibrium. Yani this system will start rotating, but in counterclockwise direction. So positive net torque means it produces a counterclockwise rotation. Which point causes a counterclockwise rotation? Now, there, as I said, there are two forces. One force is 50 Newton. Other forces, 150 Newton, but 50 Newton produces positive torque. 150 Newton produces negative torque. You should increase positive torque and you should decrease negative torque. How can you change a torque? Let's first get this. We can change a torque by three ways. F, T, sine, theta. F, we cannot change because they are 50 and 50, 150. We don't, we don't have a chance to change this. Angles are 90 degrees. I can only change distance. So I will increase torque of 50 Newton by increasing its distance to extra rotation. I will decrease torque of 150 Newton by decreasing its distance. That's why I have to make six to seven. I have to make two to one. Yana, I am going to make distance of 50 Newton from six to seven, it was six for no rotation point. But if I make it seven, torque of positive torque increases, negative torque decreases. Let's calculate if it is like this or not. So let's calculate torque positive torque right now. 50 Newton produces a positive torque, distance for 50 Newton is seven. 50 multiplied by seven, which is equal to 350. This is positive. But 150 Newton produces negative torque. A distance is one meter because total length is eight. If it is left side is seven, right side must be one. So in this case, in this case, negative torque becomes negative 150. Now let's calculate the net torque by adding them. 350 minus 
150 result is 200. So as you see, we produce a positive number. So we produce a positive net torque. Which point is that? G. Yani the point on the right of the no rotation point. F is no rotation point. The point on the right produces a positive net torque, which is G. Positive net torque. So what about negative net torque? What should I do for negative net torque? I should do the reverse. So this F is no rotation point. And I already knew that the points on the right produces a positive net torque, which is G. If I want to produce a negative net torque, I should do the reverse. The points on the left will produce no the negative net torque, which can be E, which can be D, which can be C, which can be B or A. All these will produce a negative net torque. So let's test it. I am going to decrease the distance of positive torque. I will in dec increase the distance of negative torque. So I will take this uh, extra rotation from F to F to E. In this case, left side becomes five, right side becomes three. In this case, the positive torque decreases because, because distance decreases for 50. 50 produces positive 250 Newton meter torque. A negative 150 produces negative 450 newton meter torque when we add, add them we will get a negative net torque this is the negative net torque then i can easily say that uh, yes first get the no rotation point by applying the rotational equilibrium and the points on the right of this uh, uh, on the right of this uh, no rotation point which is G produces a positive net torque, positive net torque. But the points on the left of this no rotation point produces a negative net torque. There are one, two, three, four, five, six points, A, B, C, D, E, yeah, pardon, five points, A, B, C, D, and E. These five points produces a negative net torque. 